Shalom and welcome to the Hebrew Sisters. We're here today to share with you a fabulous word in the Hebrew language. Now, my sister Darla is the one who is so good at the Paleo Hebrew. What is Paleo Hebrew? Glad you ask. It's the language of the days of Moses when the people were using the Hebrew language in more of a pictograph form, kind of like hieroglyphics is a group of pictures that describes a word. Well, that's what the Paleo-Hebrew is about, and inside the Paleo-Hebrew are some of the wonderful secrets to the word that we're going to share with you today, and that word is... The word we're going to talk about today is Baruch. 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 And you got to get that guttural on the end of it. Baruch. That's it. Yeah, uh -huh. Mama said not to do that, but we did it. Yes, we anyway, did. Anyway, <laughs> because we had a bunch of brothers. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's talk about the word Baruch. That word means, in a very simple form, to bless. Darla, share with us what that word really means. Okay, so a deeper level of study, it can mean to bless or to kneel. And we get that, of course, from taking it from the living letters. And so those living letters, a bait, a reish, and a final cough, mean this, that the open hand of authority is filled with the family within. So you take those letters and each letter means something and then you pull all of that together. And again, it means that the open hand of authority is filled with the family within. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but let's take it a deeper level <laughs> into the paleo, again, back to the time of Moshe. And it, the, it means in the paleo Hebrew from the pictures, to fill the palm. And the picture brings the greater understanding to this particular word in that it's as if you are kneeling down at a body of water and you begin to put the water into your palm and it fills your palm and you begin to drink mm. from your palm. So when we pull all of that together, it means that you're going to bless with an open hand that becomes filled with the family. And this is really, really a lot of, of fun to watch and very fulfilling to see when we go to Israel. Well, you know, that open hand is an ancient sign for blessing, for kindness, thus the word Baruch. Now, in today's language, when we say in a religious setting, oh, I bless you or let me bless you. People do just that, just like I did. They'll extend their hand. But what the word Baruch, to bless, in its fullest form, Darla, it actually means to touch mm. with an open hand of love. And it's as if you are giving to someone who's thirsty a cup of water. Wow. Because the cup of water in the ancient days was life. Water was everything, particularly in the Middle East. It wasn't known for its uh, huge, mighty reservoirs of water. Mm -hmm. They were important and because there weren't that many of them. And so when we bless someone, it's not just with the words that we speak, that a blessing to someone is truly and only fully conveyed through the opening of our hand through the touching of someone, and through giving them what their heart really needs. Wow. Maybe you know someone in life, or maybe it's you, that needs a blessing today. Mm -hmm. And in the power of our hands is the ability to bless. Mm -hmm. So we can actually bless ourselves. That's true. And with an open <clears throat> palm, giving to ourselves the life that we so need, that our cells need for our bodies to be healthy, but also to our children, to our spouses, to our sisters, we can extend that blessing. Oh, I love the word in Hebrew, ba 
Ruch. I remember my first trip to Israel, and that I was, was just yesterday. Yes, just yesterday. Twenty-five years ago. And I remember that we were there on Shabbat, and we were in the hotel, and we had gone downstairs, and there was a huge Israeli family uh, seated at a big table. And, of course, there was a lot of noise, a lot of talking. Everybody was interacting. It was very amazing to me because a lot of times you see people sitting in restaurants in the Western culture, and they're not talking. They're looking at their phones. They're, you know, staring off into space. They're just not connected, and that was not the case in Israel. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, at a certain point, uh, at, at the time of the Shabbat's uh, time when they were eating, the father got up. And he started going around the table. And it was a large family. There were probably 15 to 20 people seated at the table, younger people and a few older. And he went around to each of them. I'll never forget just what the feeling on the inside of me was because he would place his hand on the top of each one. And then he would kneel down or bend down, turn them towards him, and they were eye to eye, almost cheek to cheek. And he would begin to speak to them in the beautiful language of Hebrew. And so I asked Jan at the time she was guiding the tour. I said, what, what is he doing? And she said, that father is blessing his children because that's how you enter into Shabbat is with that blessing. I was completely undone. And I just thought to myself, what a difference it would make in our homes, yes. in our families, in our Western cultures, in our countries, if instead of using the hand as a discipline tool, that we would use it as a tool of blessing our children and building them up eye to eye, cheek to cheek, and the father kneeling towards that son and that daughter, it would just begin to change and shift our families. And the scripture that I want to use in, in regards to this beautiful picture, the first time that the word Baruch is used in the, the scriptures is found in Genesis 12, verse 2, when Yahweh was calling Avram to leave his father's house and go to a land that he knew not of, but he was taking him there to bring forth a family. And he says, I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you. Now, I think what we have to understand is yes. when he said, I will bless you, <laughs> Yahweh Adonai was kneeling and placing his hand upon Avram, and speaking to him this blessing. You know, that's what the kippah on the top are the little beanie. It looks like a little beanie on the top of religious Jewish that's men's mm -hmm. head. It comes from that, wow. that the hand of Adonai is on them to bless them. Mm. So the word baruch means not just words. It means a physical expression of love through the touching of your hands so that you are bringing to them life like giving a cup of water mm -hmm. in the dry desert giving to a child giving to a loved one giving to yourself Come on. a cup of living water mm -hmm. that you would have the strength and the hope to go through the day and to live your full life mm -hmm. that's our blessing to you yes and if we could reach through this camera we would reach our hands right out to mm -hmm. you and bless you today. Mm -hmm. So, hope you've enjoyed this word. Listen, if you like this, you can see at the bottom of our page right there that we have other teachings just for you or made with you in mind. We have those seven Hebrew words and it's free. If you've enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. Look us up. We're also at HebrewScrollsAcademy.com. It's our pleasure to join with you, and we can't wait till next week. We have another fabulous Hebrew word. But for now, we bless you in the name of Adonai and say, We are the Hebrew Sisters. sisters.